As a lot of you know, I was in Washington, D.C. last week for an opening at Susan Calloway Fine Arts. I took a day trip down to Richmond, Virginia, and I saw a bunch of things I thought you might be interested in. I started at the Reynolds Gallery. I saw two artists there I really liked, Roberta Gentry and Sue Heatley. What I was really excited to see and was completely unexpecting to see was a number of Richard Carline's work, both at Reynolds Gallery and later that day at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. I want to talk about Richard Carline and his big effect on me and I think the world of art in Richmond, Virginia at the time. This is especially from the late 70s to the 90s. Carline taught Introduction to the Fine Arts. It was a survey class and slideshow. And what it was really meant to do is open our eyes to the larger art world around us. And he would take the time to not just show us the art, but explain the ideas behind it. It was really like having the, the veil lifted and, and seeing that knowledge really, really raw in front of us for the first time. As a really young artist, that was invaluable to me. Lunch, of course, was a Cubano sandwich from Cuba Cuba, just a fantastic restaurant. The rest of the afternoon was spent at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. I start off with this great Lucas Samaras piece, which I've never seen before. I've never seen anything like it before. Of course, we follow that up with Anselm Kiefer, There's a fantastic side Twombly right after the Kiefer that you really can't miss. And I love the Gary Simmons pairing with Philip Guston. It's just a really great sensibility side by side. And lastly, I want to leave us with this piece by the artist of G's Bend. In fact, I was really taken by the fact that they've changed their approach on showing the G's Bend quilts at the Virginia Museum. They now list the artists by name. In this case, it's Luella Petway. I think it's really amazing to see both the collective and the individual artists being given some attention to in this manner. Oh, if you get a chance, like and subscribe and all that crap. You know what I'm talking about.